Welcome back guys, Harry here, known as Trade Sharp and very interesting things here on the Bitcoin chart. We had a huge pump yesterday, look at that daily candle there. And uh, monthly has closed and there's a lot of interesting things happening on the charts. And yeah, Bitcoin, you know, it's uh, doing very, very interesting things to be honest. And Ethereum on the other hand is flying. So let's have a look at these two, do a bit of a monthly deep dive. And uh, yeah, let's start off here on the daily. So we did do, you know, I did say I wanted three day closes, to be honest. And uh, so we have the bearish closure, then we had the closure taking out the wick, then I wanted to see this one more uh, wick being taken out on this candle here, which would have given me that bearish bias. We didn't get that. That was the perfect scenario. I was convinced of these two that it would be bearish, but you could see it got caught by this range here perfectly. And that's why I wanted to see a close below the range. And I believe that was our four hour range. So we had a four hour fake out and that's why we needed higher time frames. Uh, did a 12 hour get it? Yeah, so the 12 hour was where our range was, but the four hour was very clear. We can see that test of our range. And then we had a fake out close back within the range, 80% chance to, to fill the range. And we filled the range and then we broke out of it, which was, uh, you know, quite impressive. And here's your Batman pattern. So this is, you know, I've that seen that meme going around. And uh, yeah, so interesting to see this happen. We have a, a range starting to form on top of this area of support here. And we do have that area of support with uh yeah it looks like we'll have a retest i could be looking for some more upside to be honest just based on us closing above the range technical technically we could we should come up here to sixty thousand, and i do think that we can have that uh yeah i do think that is that is very possible here after this pullback and uh i want to see how the monthly is closed so if we go and see the monthly and what's impressive about the monthly is that we've closed with uh, a very impressive like you know doji candle you can call it but uh, to be honest it's like an indecision candle so equal almost equal and buying more selling pressure but what's interesting we haven't taken the previous monthly wick out and now we have a clear range to the upside and downside so now if that forty six thousand dollar wick has been taken out just the wick then i do think we can even come down uh probably there's even a possibility here at thirty three thousand so I just want to see reference to the Bollinger Band because that's a normally a good base. And we can see the Bollinger Band is already being brought up to price where it currently is. So that's already impressive at 57,000. So uh, yeah, it's looking it's looking pretty good, guys. It's looking good. I do want to see the weekly start trending above. We can see we are coming into a compression here. Uh, but I'm no, you know, I'm, it's, it's in a very critical situation, but there's a lot of signals firing saying that all right you know we are not in a weekly reversal and we do have the chance to put in a base here which we could see in the past that very close to this moving average i have here we do set in bases and we haven't tested it but you could consider this a test because what will happen is as price starts to uh drag up again it will pull this moving average and this moving average will end up touching the base like this and it would start making sense but i do think that here uh, if it does confirm, if we do close the weekly how it is, right? And this is very important, guys. If we do close the weekly above this uh, candle, like so, above 56,238 today, then I think I will start to look for some more upside. I do think we do range. I, as I said, I don't think this is going to be a V-shaped recovery. I do think maybe we have something like this, come down, pop back up, pop back down one more time, and then continue up. But now... How this has changed the bias is that our ranges are now a lot more clear. So t on a technical point of view, breaking this low should imply continuation. But if we're reflipping structure, this brings me back to my whole point that I was talking about in the beginning, that we might just be in a massive range. Here's the bottom of the range and here's the top. So all what happens in between flipping structure doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at all. So this is what we have to keep in mind. And I do think that we could have one more swipe down to fifth, like to yeah, forty nine thousand, even forty forty six thousand here. But I don't think that now we were to break it. I think that our base is should be set in definitely above forty five thousand. 
And I do think that this month is going to be a bit of sideways. Why do I say that? Well, look at Ethereum. Ethereum is leading at the moment. And when Ethereum leads, Bitcoin goes sideways. And they either go up together or, you know, one follows the other. But now Bitcoin, you know, some of the old profits, this might be, I don't know what cause it there was, that news about uh, Alibaba putting 20 billion into Bitcoin. Uh, so that obviously could have had an impact. But what I'm looking at here is essentially we're in a big range. And now that this base can be confirmed as a base, now we have our new range to play off. And it looks like that price can start heading up and onwards. And I do think that, you know, if we do get a swipe back down here, now it, it's potential opportunities. And this is what I mean. We have to take it day by day. There's no point of looking for far ahead and saying, all right, if we reach here, if we reach there, things change. So when things change, we adjust. And as a trader, I've adjusted. And now my base is coming in at 49,000. So any swipes below here, again, I think this is a range. I start to get interested in price. So looking at Ethereum, on the other hand, this thing has closed the monthly guys this close a very strong monthly and i bet it's closing strong above the top side bollinger band there we go as long as it's trending above that we can see in the past it's been good news uh i do think we have a nice month for uh for uh, ethereum here and uh where's the bollinger band coming in it's coming in at 2000 so yeah 2500 should be by the time that this gets dragged up a little the base i'm looking for on Ethereum is 2,500. As soon as we start getting below 2,500, it starts worrying me a bit. But as long as we remain, I think 2,500 is a great opportunity if price were to come down there. Uh, Non-financial advice, of course, but the Ethereum's looking great, right? Looking at the daily, it does look like it does want to head up here. You know, daily is closing strong, strong, strong bullish. Weekly you know, will close very bullish. And I told you we were going to get that weekly wick fill and we did bring back our drawing tools. We are almost hitting my target here of 3000. And I do think that we do head even higher than that. And uh, we have to take some more long term targets. Uh, I, I think we did take uh, where's my fib, 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 fib. I think we did take this. Did we take this measurement? Yeah, so that should have been adjusted to here. And uh, where can we now, since we have this full formation here, I think we can go to a daily and we can take uh, pretty much from this formation to that formation, which is going to give us targets up here at 3 1, 3 2. I, I would push it, you know, wick to wick should. Uh, I think 3 2 is not out of the question. So yeah, I think around 3,000, yeah, 3,200 is uh, not out the question. And then we'll take it after that. Uh, yeah, it's looking good, guys. I do think that the 3,000s will be breached and we will probably hit up here to 3,200 and probably move on further. But that's what I'm looking at in the charts, guys. You know, I do think that Bitcoin wants to put in a range. Uh, looking at Bitcoin dominance quickly. Yeah, it got a small bounce, but it looks like it does want to reject here, which is interesting because that's our resistance I drew in, right? So if it does reject and close below 49%, yeah, it's looking good for alt. So we'll see how this goes. Keep you updated. Remember, guys, take care, trade sharp, and until next time, peace.